Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we'll look at the Zombie Apocalypse plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to create a zombie apocalypse in your Minecraft server that lasts for a specific amount of time. There are nine brand new zombie variants which will spawn and cause even more chaos than the normal one. And overall it's a really fantastic plugin. So let's jump into it. So you can see here I have an ongoing apocalypse. You can see at the top the boss bar shows how long is left so you can set the amount of time in minutes. And then if you don't want it anymore you can do apocalypse end and then the world name and that's going to end it for that specific world. And then if you want to start it again you can do the apocalypse start and then world followed by the amount of time such as a single minute. You can also change the amount of zombies which spawn in a particular chunk by doing apocalypse set limit for a world again and then let's set it to 80 for example and then let's go ahead and look at some of these zombies that we have so the first one is going to be a boomer zombie this one is pretty self-explanatory it's just like a creeper except that once it gets killed it is going to explode like that we then have a thrower zombie which is going to absolutely launch me in the air which did quite a lot of damage and that's not good. Then we have the jumper zombie who can jump pretty high. So next we have the multiplier zombie. So when this one is killed, it's going to spawn a multiple amount of zombies. There you go, two just spawn from it. We have the ninja zombie, which is very fast, quick, dangerous, but is weak to attack. We have a pillar zombie, which is pretty cool. That spawns a giant pillar of zombies so it can be two it can be five and then we have a tank zombie which is rather difficult to destroy and if you want to get one of these eggs or spawners we need to do the four slash zombie command and then choose either an egg and then the zombie type that you want to get so you can do the same thing if you want a spawner of one of these and you can see all the different names here and then finally we can do the apocalypse reload if we've changed anything in the config file which is where we're going to head now. So here we are in the SMPinity control panel you can see there are two files this one is empty so we want to just go in the config file and in here there's a few things we can do so we've got the plugin prefix check for updates and then a list of all the zombies now you can disable them here if you want and you can even change their attributes so certain ones like the sprinter obviously get more movement and then the tank is obviously going to get more health uh, same for the ninja. So what you could do is change these to make them more or less powerful depending on what you want and then what you could actually do is go to this link here to the github page and that will give you a bit more information about how to do that and then you can see they each have a different texture for the head as well and then down here do you want to allow babies of these yes or no burning day yes or no do you want the boss bar and the boss bar fog and then there's a couple of other things that you can turn on or off. And then down here we have all of the messages that you will see during the apocalypse as well. So here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.14 to 1.20. There's some good information around here. This is the command and then the permissions as well. And then down here it tells you about the different zombie types and what they do. And then finally, if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.